You're listening to littlepodcast.com. Anyway, sorry. Twitter sucks, huh? It's a Next faulty question. list because r 2 d is not a robot. He's a droid. Oh, fuck off. A very detailed picture of Iron Man, and it says socialism will win. They College make a real persuasive argument money. there. High cheeks, all of his porn, all of his pores. All of his porn? My God. All of his porn. I, I like it to slosh in my mouth. Yeah, welcome yeah, to Born in the 80s. All right, Matt. I want you to I want you to do your best John Rowe hosting intro. And, and Hi, it's me, John, no, John Rowe. John Rowe the frog here. Let's start the podcast. Ready? Go, Matt. Intro. Hold on, I have to find I I think I have to find okay. the space. I think it's somewhere deep me, in the me, back me, of me, my me, throat. Me. Hi, I'm John Rowe. Oh, this is a perfect impression of John Rowe. That's not how I intro the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Born in the 80s, episode 288. I'm your host, John Rowe, joined by my co-hosts. Matt Hag. And TJ May. TJ May, yeah. How are you yeah. doing, TJ? I'm... I am. You're Starman, waiting in I the wings. I am Starman. Wings. <laughs> This is the picture I've been using my Twitter oh, thing now. Oh, man. Apparently there's... I don't know the um, actual words to that. <laughs> I don't know the words to that at all. But uh, I don't know if you've seen the Twitter picture I use for this because it Twi- looks pic? like... It looks like I did a filter that would mirror me, so there's two of me in the picture. But no, I just took a selfie next to a mirror. Oh, yeah. That's old school. That's you analog. Can see that the angles are too, yeah, the angles are different um, compared to doing it uh, with a filter. TJ, there's a star man waiting in the sky. He'd like and to actually, come and meet us, but he thinks he'd blow our minds. <laughs> Would you blow our that's minds, true. TJ? Um, I haven't I haven't blown a lot of anything lately. Oh. Hey. I've been out of breath. Oh. Why are you out of breath, TJ? Because I'm out of shape. Oh. Hey, TJ. <laughs> yeah, the Dodgers are up eight fucking scores. Suck it, yeah, Cubs. I saw that. Fucking suck it, Cubs. Cubs are done. Cubs are done today. Oh man, I'm so glad too. Not I, you know, I used to be like a guy who was like, eh, you know, duh, whatever. And then I went to a Brewers games where they played the Cubs, and the entire stands was 75% Cubs fans, and they're also the worst Cubs fans because yeah. they are because Wrigley is expensive. So all of like the rich people go to Wrigley. And then what we get up on Saturday at a Cubs game is all of the people that can afford like a fifteen to twenty dollar ticket to Miller Park. It's only like a three hour drive from Chicago, so it's yeah. just fucking full, and it's the it's bad. And those people were really bad. Like I, there's no no way really no way no way to slice it. There's some and really the, bad Cubs fans. At and the I game. saw I saw your tweets. Uh, the Brewers won that game, right? Oh yeah, in a. <laughs> Extra innings in a walk-off home run. It was awesome because all the Cubs fans were just like, rah, 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 and then a walk-off home run, and like <laughs> half the stadium just uproariously cheered, and then everyone just dejectedly walked out. And I was like sitting there with my fucking Brewers gear, being like, "Fuck yeah, bitches, Get the fuck out of here." <laughs> yeah, it was it was fun. It was it was also like that was that Saturday in September that it was like ninety five degrees out as well. So it was a very sweaty game. You know me. You know how I love my sweaty games. Um, yeah. Like, so that's sweaty games I, like I like we fit. Sweaty games Inc. Well, I suppose if you don't want to sweat, you could you you could definitely be cool. That's true. Um, and uh, welcome our special guests <laughs> to the podcast <laughs> just this week. Um. Uh, let me get him on the phone. <laughs> this All is right. a solid episode. Here they are. It's just ringing. It's ringing. It's ringing. Come on. Thank you for calling the Gents Theater. Sky, you drive in 24-hour movie information line. Show plans for Tuesday, October 17th. This doesn't pick October up on the mic very well, I'm assuming, because nobody has... Is also available can hear it. Not super well. No. I can hear it. Fucking talk louder, Skyview, you fucking guy. He's probably like... He's just like... Excuse me. It was not a recording. That's the guy just says that. 
For all, our, all of our viewers and listeners that were wondering what the Skyview playtimes are. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't know. It's, there's uh, they're that, sponsoring the so show now. So Our uh, weekly the top segment that everybody loves Thursday. and is completely familiar with, the Skyview yep. schedule update. Yep. That is a new uh, sponsored SponCon, uh, the Monroe Drive-In Theater. Uh, you know, it's ba- it's a bad timing because we're kind of right at the end of the season for them to to um give us the sponsorship but um yeah you know, if you want to go out in the well cold, they, you know they're just trying to build up that momentum movie. for next year yeah exactly well i mean actually they they do show movies out in the winter and stuff there so um that's cool you, you can sit in your car with the radio on um with your car running even and especially in the winter nobody cares if your car's running yeah because everyone's sitting in their cars running with the and then like you could just run thing. like a little hose from the tailpipe into the driver's side window. Yep, yep. a lot of dust. Uh, they that's how I want to go. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that just actually is probably the, the best way. Watching a drive-in go. movie. Yep, what movie? What's your death movie? Uh, 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 Despicable Me 3. Thank you. Oh my god, that's a, that's a, uh, that's a, that's a good pick. It's a classic. I'm trying to think of what mine would be. What's like the worst movie I can think of? Maybe like Jurassic World? That's the worst movie you can think of? <laughs> no. You're so full of shit. I mean, what if we what if we go back? Back in time. What if so we like the back 80s? in time? Um Yeah. So, remember there were great movies like E.T. Yep, let's you know, remake E.T. Like but with uh what a CG. What about what about Batteries Not Included? CGET. I loved Batteries Not Included. That, that was a great movie. It's not a great there movie. There was another one that wasn't it, good. Was... Wait. Oh, man. Am I thinking of... Is there another robot, like, helper knockoff there's n- movie? There's another robot knockoff movie. That's... It might be robot-like. might be Gremlins-like. There's Short but Circuit. somewhere in that vein. You're not thinking about Short Circuit, are you? No, no Short Circuit's great. Um, you, you're not... You, Definitely don't knock Johnny Five. What other um, fucking movie was like Batteries Not Included? <gasps> oh my god, you can go on Amazon.com buy Batteries Not Included VHS. Nice. Four bucks? Where... Oh wait, only one left in, left in stock. Order soon. Uh, eight ninety four by Diane's Depot. Ten bucks. Blu-ray is eight dollars. It's more expensive to buy the VHS than the Blu-ray. Do you think VHS is going to become like that? Where they're going to be like, hey... I'm gonna I like how records like people buy records now like like I gotta you gotta watch mm, it on VHS. I doubt it VHS is such a terrible format yeah I but uh, I don't know like cassette tapes are coming back in like That's small ways dumb cassettes so suck. if cassettes why not VHS I don't fucking know to be fair though for cassettes I don't think there's any sound thing but they did cr- that was like the the birth of the mixtape though you know what i mean yeah yeah, yeah. that makes no some cassettes sense are like... actively worse than uh what came before them the only like really? real eight tracks well no eight tracks are tape based too but um <laughs> compared yeah, to records, records it's a huge decrease in quality they're only um the only th- thing they had going for them was the fact that they were mobile and easy to Do make. You know some of the most insane shit in the world, though. Like back in the fifties, there were like car record players that existed. Yeah, isn't that the most insane wow. shit you've ever heard of? Yeah, like you, you couldn't have been able to use pictures. those while you were driving, right? Like, you, you were, there's you no were. way. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, you know, um, so like they were like uh, super like. Um, I forget how they worked. Let me see if I can find like an article because I'm just getting images here. Uh, Consumer Reports has a article about it. Um, yeah, Chrysler was the first to introduce highway hi-fi. 1956. <laughs> CBS Labs de- developed technology that played records specifically designed for the system. With 7-inch discs in the 16 and 2 thirds RPM format. Wow. Um, so they had to be seven inch records that played slower because that way you could fit it in there, but fit the 
like same amount of tracks in basically Mm -hmm. all right oh my god so let's see here um uh highway hi-fi was short-lived because they only offered it for two years consumer reports was around back then did report on its demise suggesting the price tag of two hundred dollars which in today's dollars is seventeen hundred and the constraint of only being able to buy proprietary records from columbia were probably why it didn't take off um 1960, they had the Victrola, which is $400 today, which is a lot more, makes more sense. And you could play your own 45s on it. Um, we bought one and tested it in the lab and on the road. Man, Consumer Reports is around for fucking ever. <laughs> when was this article written? Oh, okay, no, like two years ago. But, um, yeah, so that's pretty cool. Um, our, wait, this is amazing. The RCA Victrola held 14 records. Wow. Our test drivers found the record changer easy to operate while keeping eyes on the road ahead. Yeah, so it's like a jukebox changer. While keeping eyes on the road ahead. It's great. Um, uh, they are both able to keep the night needle on the record when driving. The stylus did not jump the grooves, even when the car was moving at various speeds over broken pavement, cobblestones, and deep holes. Um, so I guess they had some sort of... Uh, uh, like just like you know like auto skip technology like cd players and stuff you know yeah like figured out well it would have had to just been a, like uh, uh an auto leveling kind of just like a, a you know, yeah just some kind of damping motion damping well it was shit. expensive i mean four hundred dollars is a lot because like i mean like what was a what was a, a speed like i gotta imagine like a record 1960 was like when they used to be what was the price of a record player in like 1960? Yeah, I don't know the price now. Can I get like a? Can I get like a? Uh... All right, you guys, you guys talk. I'm gonna look up a. Sears Did you know there was a short catalog. circuit too that came out in 1988? Yes. yes. Yeah, and uh, um, uh, what's his name? Um, Steve Gutenberg was not in that movie. He did not make the sequel. No, but Fisher Stevens is in it. He's a. Uh... He's a yeah. guy. Mm-hmm. Um, no, Short Circuit 2, I think, might still be on Netflix. Um, so uh, after the first movie... Um, Is there still the fake Indian guy? Yes. Uh, it, 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 it's He's the main character. Great. <laughs> he's, he's now moved to New York, and uh, he wanted to start a toy company up there. And um, his buddies, who still live in Colorado, um, sent him a, a present to help him out, and basically shipped him johnny five so then johnny five deals with the big city life okay um it's it's an interesting movie okay here we go <laughs> i want you to guess oh yeah i'm gonna guess what? uh ben javiri is the quote-unquote indian guy sure yeah they, is that they right round up a white dude yeah, he that he's so. that's Fisher Whoa. Stevens, total white dude. That <laughs> was like they, they brown faced him. Yep. All right. Oh man, prices really haven't changed. You know, even with inflation. You know what I mean? Actually, they have changed, but they haven't. I don't know how to describe this. Like a, a TV, like back in like uh, a twenty three incher. Console television is two hundred and twenty dollars in nineteen sixty. This can't be right. How much did they say that was? This is I, I'm reading a a home stereo like stand up with record player and radio is one hundred and ninety nine dollars. That can't be right because they said that the the one in the um, car was like fifty. Like. I, I don't the know. Car one would be more expensive. I don't know, man. I guess this is like a giant full room like radio thing though. Like the big wooden furniture one. Yeah. So in in the process of me trying to find the uh It's pretty cool though, I'm looking through a series. Tra- trying to find that one other eighties movie that had uh Yeah. That had like the robot something in yeah, it. Yeah. Um I I was reminded of a couple other things, like uh Steve Martin in The Man with Two Brains. Yeah. I love okay. that movie. It's not great, but I do love that movie. Um, but I don't now think I, I've ever I seen that one. Article. Um, uh, it's it definitely sci-fi. He definitely 
a, a man basically leaves his wife to fall in love with a brain who talks to him telepathically. All right. Yeah. Um, but I, I just found an article. It's the list of the top 100 greatest movie robots of all time. There's okay. Some good stuff on here. Are there? Oh, this is. Um, but God, I love the internet. By the way, that's it. This is, go. Yeah, this is way too long of a list for me to go all the way through. Um, but I guess I've never seen Terminator Three all the way to, all the way through to know about the TX being the name of the female Terminator. Yeah, okay. she's all right. Yeah, she's number ninety-one. Just, like, yeah, I don't, I don't think. Like, other than, holy crap, it's a woman this time. She wasn't very uh, All right, so different than the other guys. Terminators. Um, name a couple robots, and we'll see if they're in the top 25, because I'm not going to look the whole... All right, one second. List. I just... Go ahead. Okay, no. I, I just want to say the internet's great. Like, I know we all say the internet's the worst, and I kind of agree and stuff, but, like, just being able to go on, like, Flickr, and somebody just has, like really high quality scans of like 1950s like pyrex ads with like recipes and stuff is just cool like the ability to save stuff forever on the internet is awesome mm-hmm. um and matt hopefully has given matt enough time to come with his robot because my robot choice is r2d2 take it take it number one no, wrong r2d2 number is four. not a robot he's a droid okay Doesn't number matter. four he's first off oh four. my god all right so we have Faulty. to guess number one now okay What'd you say? uh Oh. No, I just you said that's a faulty choice. list because R2-D2 is not a robot. He's a droid. Oh, fuck off. It's the same goddamn thing. <laughs> same thing. Now, I can't okay. tell you, I just looked at number one. I wouldn't have gotten this. Oh, god damn it. All right, well. Th- but this is but maybe right. you guys will because it's half relevant now. Okay, go. Is this from movies specifically? I'm from, well, it says from movies, but some of them definitely uses the word movie very lightly. Okay. Okay. I'm going to say the Iron Giant. Iron Giant's number two. <gasps> what? Motherfucker. Okay. <laughs> Eat my ass. How is that being R2 motherfucking D2? Well, C3PO is definitely not higher than R2D2. No, he's definitely lower. I saw him. Okay. Well, this um, is from Paste Magazine. So, you know, I'm. All right. I'm just going to make up. I'm just going to make a guess that I like. That fucking robot from Rocky Four. Robot. <laughs> there was a robot. Oh yeah, that's right. There was a robot in Rocky yeah, Four. Yeah, the robot, robot that Polly bangs. Remember that part? <laughs> yeah, I remember that. Because he's part. like Rocky's like, "Hey, Polly, I got you a gift," and it's like a robot that like and he like dresses up like a maid, and he's just like, "Ah, she won't no, ever let me go." <laughs> it's like, what is this your <laughs> wife? <laughs> like, I am also I am also gonna say that some of these definitely use the term robot wrong as well okay i've got number one but matt you go i got my guess um, but I, I don't i don't see that robot from rocky at least That's... in the top 40 so far all right uh i keep thinking of robbie the I got, robot i got the winner so but i don't go. know if that count because i'm gonna say robbie the robot from said? lost in space even though that movie wasn't super popular the tv show sure was i didn't see it in the top i did not see the top 25 all right number one Data from Star Wars Trek The Next Generation. He Star is Wars up Trek. Here, but he is not. Oh, wait, hang on, hang on. Rob... Did you say Robbie the Robot earlier? Yeah. Robbie the Robot, Forbidden Planet, 1956, which I think predates the other stuff, but. I don't unless know. it's okay. a different Robbie the Robot. But Data, I saw. Might be. He is number 13. What the fuck is this list? Yeah. Is this like all time, though? So, like, this is, this like is all fucking... time. This is probably some fucking Buster Keaton ass fucking movie. They're like, this was the greatest robot ever made on film. And, and as I as I mentioned, some of it definitely uses the term movie wrong, and some <laughs> of it uses the term robot wrong. Okay. I mean, Star Trek: The Next Generation would be a TV show that I just guessed, but also they did movies, so. Yep. But okay. Want me to go twenty five to one? No, no, no. no. Okay, go ahead and get a couple more. We got yeah. you. Yeah. We are each going to do one more guess, and then why don't you do the top 10? Okay. No, I definitely want to do top 25, but I'll kind of wrap it up. Go to the top 25. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. Um, do a but couple more, right? Matt, come on. The Terminator. Give us a hint. <gasps> Ooh, Terminator's now, a good one. 
Um, I think they're. I'm I think gonna, they're counting the Terminators. As, which one? As a robot. Which Terminator? The original, the Schwarzenegger. The T one. T eight hundred is number 800. six. Ooh. All right, T one thousand. T one thousand. My guess. Go. Lock it in. T T one thousand. I saw him too. He's number ten. Fucking god damn it! <laughs> Thought that'd be higher. He's a better robot. Yeah, he is a better robot. I was thinking about this earlier today. Can somebody explain to me how the T one thousand was able to travel back in time? Is he like technically organic metal? I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't. I need know to how know this works. thing. I, I, There's nothing that's dead will go. I mean, he does. He does morph, so he probably is able to change his tissue. Yeah. There's probably like living tissue in there somewhere. All right, TJ, give us the top 25. All right, 25. I've never heard of this the is robot movies? nor the boot. Um, okay. So this is this one's actually I would call it from Bollywood um, because oh, it's what the Chitty from fuck and, is this shit? I I know it's, it's Hollywood it's, movies only. I know Chitty from Entheron. Never heard of it. Okay, fuck it's, that. It's I don't really know what a spin-off the fuck of you Frank, just said. Like, but it it's makes a Frankenstein spinoff of some sort. Wait, what about the robot from Last Starfighter that he gets to take his place when he's out um, fighting the uh, Kodan Armada? Remember Not that? in the top 25, but I didn't <laughs> read the whole list. <laughs> I didn't even know the goddamn name of it. So, <laughs> but he gets What about robot. Robin Williams in Bicentennial so. Man? Yeah. No, he's not top 25. What about AI? What about Jude Law from AI? He's in the list. Oh, okay. What about Haley Joel Osment from AI? Haley Joel Osment from AI. Hilly Joe Osment was in the list. I just All right, let's get he was Gigolo Joe. What do you know? We're All right. you. Here we go. Twenty five <laughs> well we did twenty five. Twenty four is Ultron. From the oh, Age of Ultron. Okay, yep. Sure. Um All right. that somehow makes the fucking top twenty five. He sure was a robot. Twenty three is actually three of them. Um it's from the nineteen seventy nine movie Black Hole. Um Vincent, Bob, and Maximilian. Okay. I saw um, a movie called Black Hole, but it wasn't it didn't have robots. Number 25, I would not consider a robot, but it's Lisa from Weird Science. Okay, I mean... Yeah, she's... Sure. What is she? Is she Wait, organic? I'm, I guess she is a robot. She's digital? She's computer? It's complicated. Can I just say this list is invalid because Johnny Five is number 80 fucking two? Yep. Below the fucking robots from Real Steel? Two yeah. side robots from Real Steel, not even like the main robot. Anyway, number twenty-one is Jet Jaguar from Godzilla vs. Megalon. Okay, I do know Jet Jaguar. Jet Jaguar is Mecha Godzilla um, 90... on the list. Uh, yes, Mecha Godzilla is on the list and higher. <laughs> right. Number twenty, it is the entirety of the Borg from First Contact. Okay. okay. By the way, Paste Magazine is just like I mean you that's can not really a robot. Here. Basically, like this isn't like a real person who knows what the fuck they're talking about um 19 is both wally and eva and all the rest from from wally yeah that's bullshit you can pick one robot yep. uh so number wally 18 is great number 18 is also an ensemble from blade runner it's rachel priest oh. leon kowalski and zora <laughs> all the robots from fucking blade runner this list is fucking terrible well the problem is number one is a specific robot from blade runner what yep harrison ford anyway uh, all right, ready to ruin the list? No, no, let's don't ruin the list. Let's, let's, let's yep. build up. 17. 17 is all of the Jaggers from Pacific Rim. They're not robots! <laughs> They're controlled! They're yep. mech suits! This, this is a really... Mech suits. This is a really loose 16. definition of robot. I, know, yep. I yelled very loudly for that, because there's no fucking you did. reason for me to even 16. care about this. 16, we've hit Mecha Godzilla. Okay. Okay. All right, 15. This is where the, mo- the word movie is kind of... Well, a little true. lax, because it's a um, Cambot, Gypsy, Tom, Servo, and Crow from MST3K. The there movie. was an MST3K yeah, movie. Yeah. Yep, that was the one in theaters. Um, also, again, picking like six robots, including Cambot for some reason. Yeah, um, why? Tom Servo is probably the number one. Crow or or is Crow? No, well, Tom I don't know. More iconic looking, like mm-hmm. yeah. Crow's good up there, though, too. Anyway. See, C-3PO at number 14. Fair enough. We got Data at 13. Yeah, beat C-3PO. Robocop at number 12. Okay, Robocop counts. He's, he's like, more of an augmented cyborg. human. Yeah, but he is um, very much a robot. Number 11 is Ash from the movie Alien. Oh, that's good. I didn't even think about that. Mm-hmm. Those so that the, that's good. the first one, right? 
That's the yeah. first one. Yeah, yeah, because the other one was Smell Bishop. That milk. Okay. Yeah. Um, number ten we hit was the T one thousand. Yeah. Uh, number Bishop nine, better I've be above Ash. That. Number nine is from the, a 1927 movie named Metropolis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's oh, a Maria, yeah, also known as Pratura. I fucking knew they'd have this bullshit in here. Groundbreaking art deco robot that, of a thing I've yeah. never seen, actually. I've never actually watched this movie, but I'll put it in my list for street cred. All right, number eight's from an old movie, too, from 1939, and this definitely is loose on the robot side because it's the Tin Man yeah, from I'm Wizard of Oz. That. That's not a goddamn robot! Yeah, it's an animated Tin Man. I mean, I guess yeah. it's a robot. Because if you think about it, well, if you wa- if you watch Return to Oz, there's a lot more robot y kind of things in Oz. So it would make sense yeah. the Tin Man's a robot. But he also has like literally has like an oil funnel for his hat hat. Like I don't know, he was real chopped together. Is Iron Man number one? Because that's kind of <laughs> how this list is going right now. Uh number seven is Bishop from Aliens. Okay. All right, good. He made yeah. the list. That's a good we, one. We, we hit six, which was the T eight hundred from Terminator. Yeah. Uh, number five I mentioned was Robbie the Robot from Forbidden Planet, 1956. Yeah. It's the same um, Archie, one. R2-D2 at number four. Space. Yeah. Um, number three, and this is a movie I have seen from 1951. It's Gort from The Day the Earth Stood Still. That makes sense, I guess. I might have seen that, that one, high. but I think I fell asleep during it. Well, anyway, that's fine. R2-D2 obviously should be ahead of that. Yep. Number two is The Iron Giant. And then okay. number one, uh, Roy Batty from the Blade Runner. Okay, this list is fucking garbage. First off, Iron Giant being number number two, higher than fucking R two D two. If you were to ask someone a movie robot, the first thing they would say is R two D two, like ninety percent of the people. You know, I'm what gonna I mean? just yeah. I'm and gonna quick and, some and honorable mentions, but you guys can keep well, vamping. I was just gonna say I saw Blade Runner twenty forty nine. I know it's racist to call them robots, so this list okay. is racist. 26 is Marvin from Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Oh, that's pretty good. good. 29 is the gunslinger from the 1973 Westworld movie. Okay. You got Baymax on here. They call the separate wives uh, um, robots. Are they, though? I thought they were just. I think in the I remake, they might have been robots. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe. I have, I've never seen Oh, I like. I like the inclusion of Baymax from Big Hero 6. He was a good robot. Sentinels are in here from oh, they X-Men. Got the, they got the Westworld robots from uh, the 1973 movie. That's what they call. Yeah. Um, they got uh, Ghost in the Shell. Um, Major uh, Matoko is in here. Not from the live action. Oh, the evil the evil robot Usses from Bill and Ted's Books of Journey. Oh, <laughs> Was she really a robot? This is the most insane shit. Okay. Lisa from Weird Science. By the way, Kelly LeBrock. Yes. When I was of the teen age, (laughs) that movie was like, wow. Um, First off, let me read the description they even wrote. Technically speaking, it's hard to discern whether or not Lisa even is a robot considering her creation. Like, what the fuck? You can't put this on the list. That high up? John, I found Beta from The Last Starfighter. <gasps> really? Number 44. Oh, should have made the top 50. I called it. Yep. I mean, Dot I can't... Matrix and Spaceballs is up here. I can't really... It's probably hard for me to come up with, like, 100 robots, so... Some of these are dumb. Um, Visions up here, 52. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, the Spider Robots from Minority Report? Dude, Beta from the last time. Oh, okay. That was a good call. Oh. That robot freaked me out when I was a kid. Oh, I like I've how... Never seen, I've never seen Logan's Run, but everyone keeps telling me about Logan's Run. Autobots and Decepticons. Transformers the movie, 1986. First off, that's not even picking a robot. That's picking two, like, warring factions of robots. No, you, Picking you, you both pick, of them. When the you true pick option Optimus is Optimus Prime. Prime is top ten. <laughs> like, get, get out of here. Yep. Oh, this list. Anyway, oh, this batteries is not actually, included robots are on here. This is actually pretty cool to look through the whole thing, but yeah, there's a lot. Hundreds a lot. Oh, I love I love robots. I can't wait till robots are all over. Yeah. 
Oh, I bought a, a, a an Amazon here. Dot. So I'll oh, have did. a kind of a robot. Yeah, it hasn't arrived yet, but I, I, I'll have a, a lady I bot to get one in my I think I'm house that Google. I can yell at. What's the, there's the new Google Home Mini one. Yeah, yeah it's the little guy. I think I'll get a Google Home Mini. Rather You're right, John. It's bothering me that Johnny 5 is way down here. Yeah, like seriously not like top, at least top like 50. Like he's like mm -hmm. number 90 or some nonsense. Uh, let me buy, I'm going to uh, see, how much is an Echo Dot? Like stupid cheap? 50 bucks. Yeah, see the it's problem I have with Echo Dot is like part of what I would want it for is to like just be like hey play some music yeah but that's like what amazon, i that's why i amazon's got it because i have amazon music stuff you pay for the extra yeah yeah see i have amazon prime and it used to be the amazon music was included in prime and now they charge extra yeah but and it's so still only they, like 3.99 a month or something like that oh is it oh, okay yeah it was really well, cheap because i, Cause I was trying to, to decide uh, between Google. that and a spotify subscription and it ended up being super cheap to just add the Amazon thing on. Yeah, I have Google Music, so that's what I use for my... <sighs> Fuck. I use uh, YouTube it's, Music. So I'm stuck to, to... Well, I have YouTube Music as well with Google Music, because it includes both. Which is why it's yeah. the best deal, because it also includes YouTube Red, which means I don't have YouTube ads. Which is yes. fucking awesome. And it includes it's, RedTube. It's like 10, 10 bucks a month. Uh, yep, RedTube... <laughs> I get all the I get I can just go on RedTube and watch any video I want. It's pretty great. Yeah, ad free. Got the access. <laughs> Not ad free. They, they still have ads on that. Um. Anyway, dang it. Yeah, I don't know like why I got it. Really, I just wanted to kind of see what it's all about and have. Well, they're pretty cheap. And always on microphone in my apartment that the government can listen to me on and stuff. Oh, I just want to say, like, a giant fuck you to AV Club. Because I got all fucking, like, amped up about listening to Margot Price's new album. Because they wrote a big article about it. Like, how amazing it was. And it's not out till fucking tomorrow. Why put an article out a day ahead of time? Like, you should really listen to this. And I can't even listen to it. That's that's my rant. <laughs> that was kind of that's a half-ass rant. Well, no, let me rant some more about Amazon because I actually do have that on my list. Yeah, it's on there. Fucking Amazon pre-orders are the fucking worst. Like, like we talked about this last week with Amazon having like just bullshit for pre-orders with the SNES Classic, but like I ordered the Starfinder role-playing game Alien Archives book. From Amazon September 7th. And it has October 31st delivery. It was in stock when I ordered it. I pre-ordered it. And they just emailed me today asking if I wanted to still get it. Um, and that it won't be able to be delivered to me by the release date. Like, what? Like, they do not. It's the Seinfeld thing about about the, what was it? Uh, the Seinfeld sketch about order uh, reserving cars. Um, yes. Rentals, rental cars. I have a like, reservation. I have a reservation. They're like, well, we don't have a car. And like, that's not how reservations work. You reserve it for me because I fucking reserved it. <laughs> like, it was so fucking stupid. How, like, the, the SNES one's even worse because, yeah, like, I heard other people complaining about this. But, yeah, they had those tre Amazon treasure trucks going around just selling them to randos on the street but still not fulfilling all the pre-orders. Like, how fucking bullshit is that? Amazon, that's fucked up. Amazon's turning evil. Get your shit together, like Jeff Bezos. Yeah. How much does Amazon Prime Music cost? Well, I have Amazon Prime Music. Music Unlimited yeah, is $8 Amazon a month, Unlimited. Matt. This is $8 a month for Prime members. Oh, really? Well, then it must have been... Maybe you got a deal. ...the same to get Spotify or something. Because... Uh, yeah, it sounds about uh, right. Th those were the two I was That's trying to decide That's how much I pay between. for mine right now. That's what I pay yeah. for my... I just want a robot lady that I can yell at when I'm bored. Hey, that's great. Alexa works really good for that, from what I've heard. I yeah. just think I'd get the Google one, but I'm sure the Alexa Dot's cheaper. 
No, I'm looking Matt, at... you could yell at me too. I, I don't mind just getting actual voice talking to me sometimes. Hey, TJ. TJ. Yes. Pause podcast. TJ. Pausing. Add chocolate chips podcast. to shopping list. Chocolate chips added to. No, no, you shouldn't get chocolate chips this week. TJ. Name the 100 best movie robots of all time. Sorry, critical failure. <laughs> because because all of them are Johnny Five for me. Wow, really? You and Adam both, huh? I love my Johnny Five. And, and I mean, at the end of the day, I'm a Star Wars watcher. Yeah. And I enjoy it, but I wouldn't consider myself a Star Wars fan. You're dead to me. You're trucky. I enjoy sci-fi, but it's definitely not the end-all, be-all. I need to see this media. I'm just going to put my little friend right up here. Yeah. Is that, is that your BB-8 again? Oh, that's yep. my Porg. I can't see it. Spoilers. <laughs> I don't know what they sound like yet. You spoiled the sound for I me. Do. Actually, I don't know if that's the sound, but oh, I have the sound of my sound work. sound spoiler. Sound spoiler. Uh, next, you're going to tell me there's a Wilhelm <laughs> scream in this goddamn movie. Probably. Can I say a giant ah! fuck you? Can I say a giant fuck you to the... Um, I don't even know what I was going to say. I lost my train of thought. The important thing Can was I Can... that I had an onion Can on my belt. Can fuck you anyway? It was a style at the time. <laughs> oh, I lost my train of thought. I don't know, man. Oh, no, here it is. Giant fuck you. Okay, people are like, oh, these porgs are amazing. Well, fucking what happened to the Ewoks or kid stuff and stupid bullshit? I like, never thought the Ewoks. Ewoks were stupid. Same here. Ewoks are fucking awesome. I loved them when I was a kid. There's that people age delineation that they talk about in How I Met Your Mother. The people that were too uh-huh. old when Return of the Jedi came out thought that Ewoks were stupid. The people that came upon it later or were really young at the time thought they were awesome. I'm in the later I just camp. want Chewbacca. I just want Chewbacca to eat a single pork. That's all I want. I think he's a vegetarian. I think I Wookiees are desecrate vegetarian. a species. I just want to see one die. And I'm bleeding now. Great. Serves you right. Ewoks. Poor gator. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I started listening Whoa. to a podcast. You ready? Okay. You- it's called Cool Games Inc. Uh, Vancouver. And and I like it. I wasn't Didn't expecting to, but I like it a lot. Didn't I rant about how they stole another podcast idea? Yeah, but then I listened to it and I really like it. Well, they... you know what? Unofficial continuation. Yeah. There it is. And. And and I kind of want to hate on them for the name, but I don't think I would have listened to it if it didn't have the name. So I don't know. Man, I'm feeling conflicted about it. But it's definitely give it a shot if you liked the old Cool Game I mean, Sync at all because it's the same kind of like patter and humor. Uh, it's actually surprisingly I mean, close, I've, which is why I like it. I've already did the, the pictures on the wall and tying the red string on how they're actually... Connected, right? Okay. Did that a couple podcasts ago? No, yeah. not really, but I'd like to hear it again. All right. So, um... I don't remember it. So, uh, both members, uh, Spanky Wirtz and Ewan, um, are both, um... Are those, those, those Christian given names? No. Um, <laughs> Spanky's just been the dude's nickname for forever. Ewan, I think, actually is his given name. Mm. I'm not 100% sure. Um... But um, they are both connected to um, a man who goes by the name of uh, Demon Tomato Dave, also known as Demon Tomato Dave, if you're from here. Yeah. Um, Demon Tomato Dave has done work with um, Brent Black, also known as Brental Floss. Um, Brent okay. Black does a podcast with um, Travis McElroy, 
one of the McElroy brothers, which then links to Cool Games Inc. Uh, maybe they got the old uh, blessing. Probably not. Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Uh, oh, man, I think I'm going to buy a Google they also had, Mini. They also uh, composed <laughs> their own... Uh, a completely new... Uh, what would you call that? A sting? A theme? Theme. 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 Music. Yeah. Where I, I wrote this one. Yeah. It's too quiet, though, man. I can't hear it at all. Yeah, it's completely silent. Yep, that's it. Play it, brother. God, that's the worst thing I've ever heard. <laughs> <laughs> you just don't understand my art, John. I guess I don't. Can I take a minute to rant? Or do or you want to talk a bit more about yes, cool, cool rant. games? No, I just said, I think if you were like me and you were put off by the fact that they were unofficially continuing another show, give it a shot because it's good so far. I haven't listened to any of it, so I will I will have to tune in now. I've gotten, yeah. the, I've gotten the recommend. I've listened to all of it so far, and one okay. of my recommendations made it, or two of my recommendations made it into an episode, so. Okay. So that's a thing. Um, so... I want to talk about how metagaming has really, really made me hate games I should like. Okay. So, right, um, uh... so let's talk about the state of why does trophy hunting or achievement hunting suck in video games? Well, um, does it have to suck? Does it it doesn't have suck? to suck, but apparently um, for a for games that really just have a nice linear narrative you go through you beat the game and you get the whole story and it's all great and wonderful you get it done in 20 hours but in order to get everything and get that nice shiny at least on ps4 platinum trophy you have to put in like 60 more hours of just really really grading boring gameplay I've been playing Danganronpa for the past couple of weeks because I wanted to finish ah. it before before uh, Danganronpa, before I started Danganronpa V3. And the the little bit in me that wants me to finish games instead of playing a game for two hours and then stop forever, it's like, okay, I'm going to be invested. I'm going to do it. And if I'm going to do it, I'm going to go a whole hog and just finish the whole thing. Get my worth out of it. Get everything done. And that put me down a hole... And I don't think I wanted to go down again <laughs> because I got that platinum trophy, which means nice. absolutely nothing. No, TJ, congratulations. You win the prize. What TJ, prize? I'm going to let you on a little That's secret a... that has yep. enriched my gaming life quite a bit. Yeah. Stop caring. If, if you, when you, yeah, when you learn to accept that it's okay to quit without finishing, things yeah. get a lot more fun. Oh, man, and I've I still heard you like quit without finishing quite a bit. Yeah, because because <laughs> because I mean I don't think that's a burn. I think that's just me being incredibly thoughtful. <laughs> I'm going to go to the bathroom. I'll finish there. Yeah. Oh, no, I don't know. But, uh, I still get like completionist instincts with games and stuff, but it's yeah, not nearly as strong as like when I was playing WoW or like when I was just trying to one hundred percent everything. Yeah, I, I, just, I totally kind of shrug it off now. It's I just can't. super stressful to worry about that stuff. That's why I, I don't play, to... um, like Heroes of the Storm or Hearthstone as much. I don't play Hearthstone at all anymore because I just could not keep up. And eventually, yeah. I, figured, I used like, to try to hundred percent JRPGs. Yeah, you see the that's problem? insane. That's because you're a crazy yeah. person. Yes. No, it's because when we were younger, we had the time to do that. Yeah. Now that we're have jobs, you know, have kids, have fiance, you know, like, well, Matt, you don't have an excuse. You can hundred percent some JRPGs. <laughs> I have no, but Matt, cats you got stuff to take you're care doing. of. 
Yeah. You got you got cats. You got projects that you're working on, like music stuff. Like you just don't have time to play games and just sit around and play yeah. fucking. Uh, There's a point where like, it starts to uh, feel remember... like a job, and then it's yeah. like, well, if it's not funny anymore, yeah. I'll just quit. Yeah. Or, or or you just get paid for it, like uh, Gerard Khalil. Yeah, I don't know what that yeah. kind of too, but he's, or like he's the other Matt Hag. Oh, I suppose. But like, um, but like, like, cause I remember in college, just like, oh shit, uh, Elder Scrolls Oblivion's out. Let me just play that. Cut to 14 hours later. Oh, I didn't need it all today. Well, <laughs> <laughs> it looks like, it looks like I need to go figure, figure out what I'm going to eat because the dorm, like, uh, food court's closed now. So I don't remember what I did. I think I, oh boy, I think I walked somewhere where there was still open done to the op so late yeah some box cereal and malt Mm -hmm. liquor oh man by the way can we talk about cereal for a second i kind of went back on a cereal kick oh yeah like eating cereal i don't know why just because yeah go ahead because i've got a cereal related story too okay um well i I like i was like man i love cereal i haven't cereal in a while so i bought cocoa puffs and I was like, these are good. And I bought Cocoa Krispies. And those were good. And then I realized you could buy bagged versions of <laughs> yep. Lucky Charms. But not like the cheap ass fake ones, but like actual Lucky Charms in a bag. Yep. So I bought an enormous bag of Lucky Charms. And man, that's a good fucking cereal. It's still good. Oh, well, rem- Remember, even the puffed wheat parts is really just... Cheerios made out of wheat. Yeah. Lightly frosted. Yeah. That's some good fucking shit, man. And it's it's basically like less frosted alphabets. Yeah. And you know what's interesting about like those breakfast cereals is that I'm not gonna say that they're healthy. No, they're actually they're definitely like healthier not. than you would think because there's so many like regulations that they can't have like you know what I mean? Like because they're marketed to children and stuff, so they like a lot of people are like they are a bit more sugar heavy than you'd think. Even the ones that oh, they seem are. like they shouldn't. Yes, they definitely are. But they do actually have tons of vitamins and fiber. Mm-hmm. Because they're like required to have fiber in them. Ow! You dickhole! <laughs> Get the fuck out of here! <laughs> Get out of here! You can't play... I'm petting him and he just got mean swiped at me. Dick. I mean, it was a playful swipe, but still. Got me right in the, <laughs> got me right in the webbing right here. So I've had a a Ouija board out this whole podcast and the spirits haven't talked to me at all yet. What have they said? Uh, uh, It says G, but I think that might have been just where I set the thing to begin with. So I'll just, I'll keep you guys updated. I just wanted to mention it because I haven't yet, but I'll keep you guys updated. Is that a regular Ouija board or is it one of those special Wallow ones? Wow. No, it's Wallow just a regular boards? one. It's just oh! one of them. Hasbro <laughs> Demon Talkers. All right, TJ, this is <laughs> TJ's final experience of being on the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> that was it. Not the straw. I'm getting kicked off the podcast for the bad joke. I, well, I appreciate it. That wasn't just a bad joke. That was like a crime against humanity. It was a meme on Twitter the other day. Oh well, Twitter. I it thought was actually a picture. I thought you were. I thought you hated Twitter, TJ. Yeah, huh? I do hate Twitter. I but saw I it on Reddit. First. So who okay, knows let's, where it let's came do from? TJ cereal and then Twitter. Also, so, I, I got more fruit snacks. They were in my pocket. <laughs> so um, so this year's NBA game was cross promotion with uh, Reese's Puff cereal. Like there's that's the best cereal, by the way. It is. It is the best cereal. Um, the game itself has like like straight up product placement and ads in the whole game including For in the Reese's story Puffs? mode where where your best female friend um is just like at home oh, Reese's midday Puff. eating <laughs> Reese's puffs like, nice you just sitting here eating Reese's puffs like yeah i could eat this all freaking day um like that, that woman is hilarious i could eat that all freaking day um so one of the parts of the cross promotion is a if you buy a full size box of Reese's Puffs, inside is a code to get VC for yeah eighteen. Oh man! Secondly, is uh, 
GameStop was giving out to anyone who picked up a copy of uh, NBA 2K18 a little like sample size box <laughs> of Reese's Puff cereal. The My store got in. five boxes of 70 little sample size boxes of <laughs> What? Oh, I remember this. The one you were setting up before a show one week, you were like showing off your Reese's <laughs> peanut butter boxes. Why do you have... That's- why did they send like 400 Reese's Puffs boxes? 350. <laughs> um, and we probably handed out a total of 70. So guess who took home a whole box? And oh, it's almost man. through them. <laughs> That's good cereal. Problem with the little boxes, not enough cereal. No, it's fine. You get, for, for breakfast, I'll take five of those boxes. <laughs> two and a half is one bowl of cereal. <laughs> and the other two and a half is another bowl of cereal. I was about to say, you need to double those up for it to be a full bowl of cereal. Because they're like the like serving size, which is like half a cup, which is like nothing. Yeah. It's like, come on. I'm an it's adult like two here. Point, 2.75 ounces per box. Yeah. I'm an adult here. Give me my Reese's Puffs. No. I was going to pet the cat again. And I completely I forgot. You know, before uh-huh. I got these boxes of cereal, I completely forgot how good Reese's peanut butter is. Oh, it's so good. It's because it's so well, you sweet. Just, just buy Reese's? Well, well no, the the, uh, the peanut butter part is made with real Reese's peanut butter. Yeah. And I forgot how good and smooth that tastes. You can buy that in a jar. They sell yeah, that at grocery say. stores. Yeah. It's so sweet and so good and so smooth. Oh, speaking of peanut butter and peanut butter and jelly... And sandwiches. I made egg salad tonight. I boil. I hard boiled like a dozen eggs yesterday. Cause, nice. You know, I had so, so I had two hard boiled eggs for breakfast today, and then I also had egg salad for dinner. <laughs> so I had probably like six eggs today. Now I'm just assuming that sounds delicious. Maybe but you're gonna be eggs, gassy. Like five. Eggs. Yeah, I'm so sorry <laughs> for Lauren. It's okay. Egg salad is fucking delicious. It is great. Sure is. Make it at home. Like, oh. Um, I got, I got you, some eggs. Are you one for just mayonnaise or mayonnaise and mustard? Oh, no, no. Okay. I'm going to tell you my recipe. Okay. Okay. Eight, six to eight eggs, depending on how much you want. Toss in the mayo mm. to taste. Mayonnaise. All yep. right. In there goes celery salt. Uh, okay. Instead of salt. Like, because you put like a pinch of salt. Put a pinch of celery salt on just to get a little bit of the celery flavor. Um, mm-hmm. Cracked black pepper. Uh, if you mm-hmm. want it, I mean, just to taste again, um, paprika, which you need to have because it adds, oh, adds a little flavor and that's what you have on deviled eggs. So it, it goes with it. And, um, I sometimes will do onion powder, but I didn't today because I just didn't feel like it. Um, but yes, I put Dijon in there. Gotta have Dijon. Okay. Just a little Dijon to give it a little zest. So yeah, um, I'll do the celery salt or the onion powder, but I don't like actually putting the celery or the onion in it. I... Okay, I know a lot of people I, love to put those in there, but I like a creamy egg salad. I don't like yes. bites of crunch. I, I like it to slosh in my mouth. Well, I don't know about that, but if I want crunch, it's coming from the lettuce that I put on there. If I'm going to do that, I don't I don't need it from inside the salad itself. Wait, um, lettuce? Yeah. Raw spinach. Oh, well, either way. I mean, like any any yeah. green that you put on there. You want it, the greens or... um, red, uh, Bread or toast? I do bread because I like how soft it is. Like I like a good soft like egg salad sandwich. Okay, a toast is totally f- acceptable though. Like great. Mm-hmm. I mean it's however you want it. But, oh, I had an egg salad in probably like a year or two years because you never buy it because you're not going to buy egg salad from somewhere because it basically goes bad two minutes after you make it. So the last time I had an egg salad sandwich. It was a gas station egg salad sandwich. It was a gas station egg oh, salad sandwich. A... Oh. You're rolling the dice every time you do that. Yeah. I remember when I used to work at um, the Charlton Group doing um, telemarketing, they had a vending machine in the break room that had, like, food in it, and you could, like, open the thing, and they had, like, sandwiches, and sometimes they had egg salad sandwiches. And I bought one once, and it was just it was just not good. Like, it wasn't, like, nasty. It was just, like, this is bad egg salad. Like, gross. And, uh, yeah, it was just kind of like Adam and I both kind of like joked about who would, who would eat it. Like, all right, I'm going to try it. I got to try it. We've been talking about this egg salad and the thing. I got to try it. And it was, <laughs> meh. Yeah. Those like tri cut sandwiches, like the mm-hmm. box. 
Anyway, sorry. Twitter sucks, huh, TJ? Yeah. Um, I mean, I could complain that, hey, I want my 240 because I'm not really good at staying concise. Yeah. As you can tell from this podcast. Yeah, no, same here. Um, but, uh, no, they they seem to be just in a really, really deep swing of just banning ra- like people who want things to be more normal and just accentuating racists. I mean, mm. not accentuating, but certainly not stopping. Not not yeah. stopping Nazis. <laughs> Which I suppose, ex- ex- you know, like accentuates them because they're like banning accounts that aren't bad. Although, to be fair to Rose McGowan, who had her account banned, she did tweet out, I think, a, someone's personal cell phone number. Which, yeah, that's not cool. Which is a no-no. I don't care. Whoever it is, no doxing. Doxing's bad. Bad, bad, bad. Um, but yeah. But, I mean, she was reinstated immediately. But it's like, boy, they were real quick on that. But, you know, just search Nazi on Twitter and you get 8 million people harassing people. And those people never get banned. So I don't know what the fuck's going on there. Uh, yeah, and the, uh, the fact that it's so bad. overrun with bots and they don't appear to give a shit about that is frustrating. I think they kind of don't want to show how much of their user base is not actually human. Because they I, want to try and sell. <laughs> I, I do yeah. think that part of my part part of the reason I stay on Twitter is because a I don't use Facebook as much as I should, um, and b I really, really, really have a very small circle of what I see on Twitter, so I don't see yeah. as much of the bad stuff as a lot of other people do. Mm-hmm. I intentionally yeah, don't you... follow a lot of people because I want I want that ratio to be good. My followers to followed ratio. Yeah. Not the ratio, I'm, just that There ratio. is no should with Facebook. Nobody should be on Facebook ever. No. Yeah, but it's convenient <laughs> for certain I'm things. I'm just not a huge... Yeah. I, I kind of gave up on Facebook. No, I use the Messenger and I'll, like, I'll browse my news feed, like, a couple times a week, but that's it. I mostly use it to keep track of events that are coming up and uh, for, for, like, the Messenger... Yeah. For talking to people uh, that I don't have a cell phone number for. Yeah, so, like, I think I actually made... I made a conscious decision today to change what my Twitter account's going to be. So, uh, I'm going to be tweeting differently from now on. I don't know if that makes any sense, but that's my... I, I don't know. I don't, tweet, I don't tweet much. Yeah. But usually it's semi-humorous or super serious or podcast but yeah yeah john you went on a real just... tear of responding to a bunch of tweets earlier oh, yeah 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 i did that was fun <laughs> okay so can i talk i'll talk about turning point usa uh and turning so point canada never, turning uh well whatever turning point usa is a a student movement free markets limited government we're the community organizers of the right hashtag big gov sucks first off turning point usa is not guarantee you not a student created movement this is definitely funded by some giant corporation you know why they are because they basically post republican like memes trying to be like super like that face win like here's a good one uh, here's Kathy Griffin saying no one can ruin their career faster than I did. And Eminem saying, hold my beer. Oh, man. Oh, Real remember how one. Eminem is completely doesn't have a career anymore? You know what the best part about the Turning Point USA is? They have 20,000 tweets. Only 86,000 followers. And an average tweet like that they have, well, they're retweeting constantly shit as well. Has 90 likes and 22 retweets. Like, this is fucking nothing. And the best yeah. part was that they had this fucking free speech beach ball bullshit that they're rolling around campuses. And they, like, are like, fucking socialism. Hashtag socialism sucks. And if you zoom in on the beach ball, it's just, like, the most bullshit you can ever read on this. Let me just read a couple of things on here. Keep Christ in Christ. <laughs> Um, uh, capitalism, uh, greater than signed socialism. Oh, real good one. 
Um, let's see here. College they make costs a real persuasive argument money. there. No, it's just it's just garbage though, because it's just like colleges saying like Subway sucks. Like they're just like fuck Trump in big letters here <laughs> on this thing. And they're like, this is great. We got this free speech on college campuses. And someone had, had drawn a, a very detailed picture of Iron Man and it says socialism will win. <laughs> and I can't, and I basically have every tweet that they've put out. I have responded with that photo <laughs> uh, just because it makes me laugh that they were like, oh, here, here's a new one. Let me just hit that real quick. Oh, I know. They have a uh, Turning Point USA at SEMO. Um, they're retweeting. Let me just let me just hop in that hot hot section and toss that in. No, so I've um, I read BuzzFeed's um, BuzzFeed did an oral history of weird Twitter, um, and I would suggest people read it. And so it kind of goes into a lot of the Twitter personalities that I've been following. And weird Twitter is basically just like. I don't know if you've followed at drill, D R I L. Um, no, he, he just, he just posts like dumb shit, basically like just really dumb jokes that are like, I don't even know how to describe Let me, let me, let me look up like best at wind tweets or best at uh, drill tweets. Let me find out. Let me find the best ones. Let's see here. Uh, here, let me just look through his, let me just look through his most recent tweets here. It's just, it's just like, it's, I don't even know how to describe like weird Twitter. It's like a thing where it's just like a group of people, I guess, that originated in the something awful forums, um, in a, uh, uh, I think it's like, oh, I forget what the name of the, the sub forum was there, but it was like kill yourself and die or something. And it's just basically a group of like people that was like invite only in that part of the forum where you would just basically come oh, up with oh. like the stupidest and worst jokes. You're, you're talking FYAD. FYID, yes. F- was it fuck yourself and die? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, here we go. He just tweeted uh, yesterday. Just put my elbow through the monitor, misspelled, because I thought the cursor was a bug again. Nevertheless, this setback will not slow down my posting. <laughs> um, you know, it's my top advisors are drafting various contingency plans for when all my miscreant followers overdose to death on Chili's southwestern egg rolls. Like it's just just tweeting just nonsense jokes, I guess. Like, like that. I don't know how to describe it. But I, I've decided, I've decided that that's what my Twitter will be now. Because I think it's the best way to do Twitter. I've realized yeah. that I'm not going to talk to people on Twitter anymore. I mean, I might, but like, I'm just going to say funny shit on Twitter, or even if it's not funny, I'm just going to post weird shit because, or like, you know do dumb shit like uh for a while i was retweet or i was uh was it uh, commenting on every single one of the president's tweets with a uh a dog that was dressed up as a construction worker <laughs> uh just because <laughs> because i mean okay i i'm kind of from the something awful i mean i was a member of the forums i never was part of that i, I was more in the gaming stuff but like i love that type of trolling where it's not really I don't know how to describe it. It's like not, it's mean, but not mean. You know what I mean? Like you're trolling people that deserve it. You know, like people like Turning Point USA that are basically trying to be like, uh, hello, fellow kids. And then, you know what I mean? It's like mean spirited, mean spirited for the sake of good, for the overall good. Well, it's not even that. So they like talk about this a lot and they're like, this is just basically trolling. You know what I mean? But it's not like doxing awful garbage 4chan trolling. It's, I'm Wait, just going to fuck time. around. I'm just going to fuck yep. around. Like, I'm just going to post funny shit or dumb, weird nonsense or, like, quick 140-character jokes and um, be stupid, you know, or post, mm-hmm. like, terrible Garfield drawings. Like, that's what Twitter is. The, that's what I love on Twitter. Like, I, I don't want to say that people that, like, post important stuff or talk about mm. issues are, are bad. But what I'm saying is... That's what I want Twitter to be, is more of weird Twitter. So that's that's where I'm at, basically. I wanna I wanna add to that. So uh I'm changing a lot on my Twitter account. I don't know if I should start a new Twitter account or keep this one, I guess. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean because, you can do multiple and, yeah. and then just you know, manage them all at the same time. <clears throat> no, you can. Um but maybe I will use the born in the eighties Twitter account. 
as something. I don't want to use it as the weird Twitter account. Maybe I should use it as the weird Twitter account. Maybe use your, you use should. your Mario and Luigi one. No, that that's I don't want to I don't want to give Nintendo that. I don't know where my oh, weird Twitter you, account will go down. I don't want to taint it. Okay. I don't want Mario and Luigi posting memes at Turning Point USA. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, I could that... I could just go with this account. I mean, but the problem is that I feel like I could get docs on this account based on like the past. You know what I mean? Fair enough. I mean, you've got you've got enough personal information with <sighs> this and the links to the. So I think I might just make a new Twitter account. That seems fair. Because yeah. I, I read that whole article and I was like, you know what? I really enjoy reading that stuff. That seems like something I could try. There's literally no no good or bad from it. If you look at Drill, he started in 2008. And for like seven years, nobody was following that account. And it's if you look back at those old tweets, they're all fucking comedic gold. And it's like, this is just... It's great, and they're not all comedic gold, of course, because you tweet fucking ten tweets a day. They're not all going to be bangers, you know what I mean? But you know, you get so, every, every once in a while, you get a really funny gag, and it's like, I don't so know. if you need to hide your identity on that, yeah, why don't you take one of the uh, obviously American names from two podcasts ago? That Twitter account should be Bobson Dugnut. Uh, that's not a bad one. I'm sure those are all taken though. Probably. Well, I'm not. I'm not saying for the at name, just the display name. Oh, the display name. Yeah, yeah. I probably uh, don't want the at John Danger being being linked to trolling. Oh, there's <laughs> a lot of there's a lot of Bob's and Doug Nut right now. <laughs> I told you that that's Twitter for you, man. The only problem is I don't want to start from zero followers. I've got a thousand followers. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You know All you I mean? have to do is follow ten thousand people, and at least one. I know, but like, I have some back. like, I have some like really funny people that follow me, and I follow them now. So I feel like I'm deep in. Like I got a lot of follow back on some good, uh, some good other weird Twitter like low level people. So I think I'm just gonna stick it to it, like you know. Just be I'm brave. Just gonna stick it to it. I'm just going to be brave. I'm going to edit my profile. Just persist. I already kind of, there really isn't a lot of identifying information in my profile. Um, I'll probably uh, remove the birth date. Uh, actually, let's change it. What should my birth date be? Um, in, in, 1969. Go, oh, that's it. Thank you, Matthew. Let's go to 69. Uh, <laughs> April 19, 20th. 1969. Nineteen sixty nine. Oh yeah. Not. No, no, no. Before That's too too obvious. Yeah, it'd be too, too obvious. obvious to do it on Hitler's birthday. Nope. Six, uh, June ninth, nineteen sixty nine. International. September sixth. Uh. International. What, what, what way is it done in the correct? What way is it done in the U.S.? U.S. is six month day, day sixty nine. Yeah, yeah. So it should be uh, year month day. Um, then the year only going from way. big to it, small. It, only correct way is year month day. I'll keep. I'll keep the. You know what? I'm going to link to the born in the 80s dot net Patreon instead of uh, instead of the born in the 80s dot com website. If that makes sense. Because I've been yeah. uh, po- I've been posting every episode on Patreon. I like that I'm just kind of live making up my decisions right now. Yeah. Like, you you realize that going. John's Troll Patrol is going to be a regular segment now, right? Oh, that's fine. Um, we're going to change. What's the best What's the best place to be from? Is it is it uh, Walla Walla, Washington? Uh, um, either that or Albuquerque. Albuquerque's good, but I'm going to go Walla Walla, Washington. Born on June 9, 1969. That's a good good gag. Uh, I gotta change my uh, my. Uh, I gotta edit my. Uh, so I have uh, something. So you guys, you guys, jazz. Why why come up with a header photo? Do you like? Well, jazz? I have Do you that. Like jazz? I I think a, a a few episodes ago, probably several <laughs> months ago at this point, we had a map of the most lewd sounding town names in each state. Oh yes. So there's hey, would you like to see my new Hump uh, Tulips, Washington? New, you guys want to see my new header photo? Because it's a banger. This is Wanker's Corner, Oregon. 
Wanker's Big corner. Shooter, Missouri. <gasps> oh yeah. Wait. You say Dick Shooter? Yeah. Yep. What is that? Idaho? I don't know. What's the tall one? No, that's not. That doesn't work. That one doesn't show up. Give me some of the other ones. Uh, Sugar Bunker, Nevada. Eh. That's Spread Eagle, Wisconsin. Wisconsin. Eh. What's Keister, that Minnesota. Face? Cummings, North Dakota. Oh, wait. Beaver City, Cummings, Iowa. Eh. <gasps> wait. I know. Bones the Balton, deal. Iowa. Beaver City. I don't know what state that is because I'm bad at geography. Cooter, Missouri. Bone Steel doesn't show up. Um, Dick, Michigan. Huh. Dick, Michigan. What about PP, PP Township, Township, Ohio? Uh, PP Township doesn't show up. These are all probably so small that they're just not gonna not gonna work. Like Short Pump, North Carolina. <laughs> <laughs> Short Pump, Virginia. Saved it up. Um, all right. The onion rings. Uh, you guys feel free to look at my new uh, profile. Uh, I've, page. I've kind of been looking at some of the stuff. See how much more you changed. The the, the background theme. Is uh, I can't good. look at that face. It's oh, pretty good. It's just the eyes and the big nose. Wow, that's high cheeks. All of his porn. All of his pores. All of his porn. My God. All of his did. porn. Yeah. Anyway, so that's who's that header image? That's a uh, that's from my last uh, no last episode two episodes ago. Oh yeah, uh, that's from Shown of the Dead. Sh- Sh- Shown of the Dead. Shown oh. Shown Pen. Uh, anyway, man, that's a lot of pores. Them pores. There's a lot of JPEG lot compression of on that one. Yeah. So, uh, well, and your pinned did... tweet is still reboot. Yeah, maybe I'll unpin that one. Yeah, there's a lot of identifying information in that reboot tweet. Is there? I don't know. Well, I'm not trying to scrub myself here. I... I'm, you gotta I'm burn your fingertips that. off. I think Twitter is no longer a place for me to be like, check out my cool photo of this thing I went to. It's gonna be retweeted. Well, that's what Instagram garbage. is for. Yeah, like if I want to post like political stuff, I'm gonna keep that to Facebook. Yeah, Instagram now. is my favorite social media right now because it's just pretty pictures instead of yeah, people Instagram's yelling at great. me. It's like, oh, I want to post a picture. Oh, I want to look at some pictures. Whereas I go on Facebook and it's just people yelling constantly. Yeah. So I'm just going to I'm just gonna make it weird, you know? Just make it weird. Like, like Stephen Heck, I like boring, at, at boring underscore as Heck. He's real great. I don't know. I just want to do more stuff like that. I'm probably not going to be a not retweeting stuff because a lot of those people don't retweet a lot of stuff they just you know like make jokes but i'm not i'm just gonna i'm I'm done trying to be like i hate twitter so i'm gonna make it into a place that's just funny stuff so what you're saying is we're gonna make twitter great again i'm i yeah (laughs) m-t-a-g anyway my entire Twitter feed is just stuff that Clint McElroy has retweeted. That's okay. basically what it is right now. Yeah. And it's all like fan art for the Adventure Zone and stuff. So for people who actually listen to the stuff we do before the podcast that we put at the end of the podcast, um, John went ahead and posted one of those gifts in our uh, Discord. So please come join our Discord. Join our Discord. Talk to us. Can I, yeah. Can I I'm lonely. Can I give a... A little shout out to, and then another thing I really hate about Twitter as well is like brands <laughs> tweeting memes and shit. Like KFC is like big into that. Yeah. Um, uh, Ar- Arby's is into it a lot worse. Yeah. yeah. But so Arby's like is actually are, good at it. So like a lot of a lot of the brand like branded tweets and stuff are, yeah. Anyway, here we go. Um, KFC did has a pretty cool thing though. Um, they're following 11 people. Uh, Jerry Horner, former Jerry Hallowell. Uh, Mel B, Melanie Brown. Uh, Emma Bunton, Melanie C, Victoria Beckham. Do you know who those those five are? 
It's the spicy Spice yeah, Girls. Spice them. Girls? Yeah. And they're, oh, they're following all... Herb Scribner, Herb J. Wesson, Herb Waters, Herb D. Uh, 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 Sundeck, and Herb Alfred. They're, they're following their 11 spices. secret spices. Uh, 11 Herbs herbs and spices. <laughs> that's pretty that's good. That's pretty good. That, yeah, that's that's, that's good. quality. Whoever came up with that one in the in the board boardroom, I'll give you a thumbs up on that. Oh, please tell me that the fucking Cubs lost already. It's, it's very close if they haven't. I'll check it. Yeah, it's we need those baseball ninth. updates. 11 to 1. Podcast. Bottom of the ninth. <laughs> Here it is, Cubs. Our video game podcast that's going to be delayed by several days. You got to get those up to the minute uh, baseball updates going. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of video game podcasts, John, how deep did you sink into the uh, Stardew Valley hole? Yes, I'm uh, I'm in summer now. Um, can we talk about uh, can we talk about hashtag best wives? Yes, I have not played it, but go ahead. Wait, you never I'm played it? I'm familiar, but oh, I've not played well, it. Well, this doesn't help if you know, you know what I'm talking about. Some of our listeners, or sorry, some of our listener does. All right, so I'm just going to get go. in hashtag here and best say wives. the best hashtag best wife. And then I, there, and of course, this is the internet. So if someone argued, like, hey, what wait. about what about guys? Like, because you can, like, you can only date women. It's like, no, you can date guys in this. Yeah. Matt, Matt, was that, was and that the here's the thing sound again? yeah it was a turtle fucking sound <laughs> the men can date men and the women can date women too yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah. all mm-hmm. options are open correct as they should be but we're talking about best wife because this is the Japanese anime waifu discussion so we're going to say best wife we could do best and man because and... John in his fantasy life much like his regular life is interested in ladies that's true I'm sorry um, it's okay. So, best wife. Uh, a lot of people are like Abigail. She fucking sucks. I'm just gonna say it right now. Yeah, she's got a true. bad attitude. She's like fake goth, and she's like, Ugh, I'm in a bad mood right now. Like, fuck you. Like, why would you? Wait, say I kind of like her now. Okay, see, yeah. this is your type. Yeah, she's straight out. Um, let's see. Let's talk. About, there's a fucking school marm, Penny. I mean, she's got red hair, so like already up on my list but um no i don't know no school mom for me um and there's leah who in my pc playthrough was my waifu um god i can't believe i just said that i will never hold a political <laughs> office now as has been recorded uh i apologize well, nothing matters Please anymore nothing really i've already said waifu on this me. podcast so anyway um no leah was my choice for lady oh shit the cubs just hit a home run i think what no. no. Oh, was that caught? No. It was caught. The two outs. Anyway, yeah. um, it's just playing in the background on my computer. Um, so the uh, the wife that I have on the PC version is Leah. And she's like an art lady. I don't know how to describe her. She's like, I don't know, like a sculptor. Anyway, fuck her. She's impossible to find. She like fucking is all around town like fucking sometimes she'll be like in a room all day and won't come out and it's like this is fucking garbage i don't want this fucking lady she sucks anyway um and there's like a billion other ones and they all kind of suck uh, i'm with Haley, who is the one that everyone hates basically because she's like the super girly blonde girl um so she doesn't fall into a lot of uh, like waifu tropes um and she's yeah. like kind of like really standoffish against you, like to start. Like she's like, oh, farming's dirty and shit. Um, but uh, I picked her because she's the obvious choice of, uh, oh, she's bad. And then the game is like, because you know this is how games work. It's like, oh man, she seems terrible, but I bet she turns good if you get to know her better. And guess what's happened? <laughs> She's a very interesting and cool person because it turns out she's like going into photography and she like, apparently I read, um, like when you marry her, she's like really good on the farm and like good at cooking and stuff. And like, that's it. Game over. So here's the thing, John, I I respect your choices and I don't Uh want to tell you what to do with your life. Um, Oh, I see. And you, you were close, but very wrong. The correct answer of course is (laughs) Emily. Haley's sister. Why? Because oh, because she has fucking blue hair. 
she has oh, man. blue hair. Could you be any oh. more fucking stereotypical of yourself? Uh, I didn't choose Look, she's red, crafty. Choose she likes to person. make her own clothing. She's creative. I don't I don't trust her because she wasn't in the original game. She was added in a patch. I, I totally went with blue hair person in the first uh, Harvest Moon game. <laughs> Yeah, and I look. I do have a uh, blue-haired um, picture um, done by an artist friend of mine, commissioned somewhere up here somewhere, um, uh, which is the second main character from Star Ocean. It's two to one, John. You're wrong. Can I you say chose this, the wrong Can person. I talk about this game? You chose the wrong person to spend your digital life with, and now you're doomed to a life of sadness and unfulfillment. That's just how it is. Can I talk about Stardew Valley though? Cause I'm gonna be fucking real for a second. Is that my mm-hmm. real my real waifu is fucking uh uh no not her. God damn it. Let me find let me find the character. No, because I'm way more interested in the moms in this game. <laughs> <laughs> Get those milfoos. The milfoos. <laughs> well, actually like Is that a term? It's gonna be. In it's our it is now. It's not Robin. Who's that? Somebody Who's get that? on Who's Urban Dictionary. Dictionary. It's probably there. I'm looking it up now. Is it Haley? Is it Haley's mom? I'm thinking of. I always wanted Haley's to have a great uh, contribution to society. Up. I just didn't know that was the form it would take. So um. Fuck, man. Fuck. What's the damn? What's the mom's? Hashtag Stardew Valley Moms. Because I'm thinking of her face, but I can't... I, I don't know. Anyway. We'll spell I'll find that out. Way you guys, you guys vamp. Me we're creating it's, it's, We're creating culture here, John. You're going to have to handle this one. <laughs> you're, you're, you're not going to want to see what, what, uh, what a milfuta is. I don't want a milfuta. <laughs> Should I open it in incognito? Straight up on Jody. No, it it just continues the uh, acronym. That, that's who I'm all about. You got the uh, hotties, d- Jody. Oh, Caroline. Oh, that didn't. That doesn't seem like what we were talking about at all. Uh, no, not wait, at all. What, what am I look? What am I? Tell me the words to Google, and I'll, and you'll get my quick reaction. Tell, tell me what you uh, type It's in. an acronym. It's MILF UTA. All right. Image search. Image search? <laughs> this isn't exciting. I didn't image search it. We just, I just did it on Urban Dictionary. It's a city. What? Oh, it's, really? Never mind. Showing re- Oh! <laughs> 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 Auto-completing is Milfuda. <laughs> Milfuda is... Oh, man. Oh, don't search that at work. Why not? Um, There's a lot of naked ladies in that image. Oh, okay. That's cool. Um, what if I worked for... All oh. Japanese naked ladies as well, it seems. Um, I don't know. Let me, let, me, let me see what this is. Oh! Oh! Oh well, it's like a it's like an alternate version of it of, is of what we came up with. UTA it means something else if you know what I mean. Yes, it means up the ass. We can say that on the internet. Why is this all Japanese women? Like that term isn't. Oh, is it like an actress's name? Maybe. Oh, oh no 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 no. Probably the pictures instead of UTA meaning what we think it is. They've hi- hybridized futa. Which is short for Futanari, which is basically she males. Oh. Well, there you go. You TJ, learn you're a every strange day, person. TJ knows a lot about the internet. Uh, Matt, can you type up lemonparty.org? You want to Google <laughs> nah, I'm good. <laughs> it wouldn't be a lemon party without old Dick. Yeah, that's. that's Meat good, spin spill the classic. That's a good gag. Gwetzi. Um, so, anyway. Yeah. Where are we at time wise? So Oh, uh, I don't fucking know. Do we even get to anything in our lists? 
Did I just t take over the entire podcast? No, we we all. Yeah, probably. Oh, really? I'm trying yeah, to define right. milfu on Urban Dictionary, but it makes you sign in to create a definition. It's, mm, yeah. Um, can we talk about? Okay, we're gonna not do five faves this week because that's gonna take too long. That's fine. I want to talk about the world ending, and this is what the this is how this is John's "What is wrong with the world today?" segment. Um, okay. Just an aspiring YouTuber. And someone made an awful okay, just, mess down just do there. Do your long ass sting here. <laughs> I like. Well, I already used the shorter there. one because you're just complaining That's so much this episode. An aspiring YouTuber cosplayed as Pikachu and rushed the White House fence. Allegra Fr Frank from Polygon says, "This is the world we live in now, folks." I could not agree more here. Uh, Here's so the this thing, guy's though. like, I want to be a YouTube star, so I'm gonna fucking do a fucking. It's a prank, bro, Jake Paulers. It's like, a prank, bro, and I'll like, I'll be able to make my follow up YouTube video in 20 years when I'm out of jail. Yeah, this yeah. is the world we've lived in for quite a while. Yeah. So people have. There's uh, a long story to history of people like hopping the uh, 1600 pen fence. And it does not turn out for any of them. It does not turn out well. Um, do you know what one of my favorite videos, though, is? Now we're talking about Pikachu because it was on this. Do you remember the deflating Pikachu video? Yes. If you've not seen the deflating Pikachu video, I wonder if I can get it. Oh, we can't really screen share. It's like two frames it's, a second. Yeah, it's not pretty. I wish that that was a, a better. There's a better way for the, us to do that on Twitch. There's got to be a better way. Well, it, there is a better way, and that is Matt playing it on his screen, like from Twitch, like putting it on the. But let's not worry about the deflating Pikachu. All you need to know is that it's like a Japanese like uh, uh, game launch event where they have all these Pikachu's in costume dancing, and like. The one on the front like starts deflating or like slowly. Oh yeah, yeah, I remember this. And then like two like handlers run in and like extremely like violently grab the Pikachu and start dragging it away. Like cuz I think I don't it seems like they're like afraid for like the health of the person inside maybe is why three people run out and they like drag this thing away. And I wonder if it's because it could be like a suffocation thing maybe if there's not air getting in there. But they like I mean, race the Pikachu off like quickly and it's just it seems like a weird, like, conspiracy thing. Like, it's, uh, anyway. It's either that or it's just, like, they wanted to take care of it because they don't want to... Uh, it's it's like the Disneyland syndrome. They don't want to um, ruin the suspension of disbelief. Yeah. Yeah, like, we no one dies that, like, on no. Disneyland ground. Uh, would you like to know some... Uh, that? Uh, let me just go back to Stardew Valley for a hot sec. Did you know uh, that you can... Um, let me just get the screen share up on here. Uh, let me make sure I don't have Milfuta up anymore in the background <laughs> tab. Um, uh, let me just get the screen share on. Because this is, this, this is for the viewers, not for the... This is for the live viewers. You can go to Byte Industries on YouTube and watch the video of this. But uh, let me screen share for my entire screen. Um, so Stardew Valley, you can have mods to change the characters. So we definitely got our... Uh, Anthro don't, characters. Mod. Don't get us banned get from your, Twitch, uh, please. You get some. Uh, no, we're, you're fine. Furry some, culture's fine. Some some furries. I'm just worried you know, about where this is going. Characters on. Um, no, I mean you got your you got your um, male to female uh, translations on here. Uh, let me just look at uh, Stardew Valley to character mods. Uh, you got people that weren't happy with art, and so they made them like more like pretty looking. Okay. Um, uh, there's Haley there, the blonde one. The uh, I'm assuming one. So, somewhere in here is also non-binary genders too, right? Yeah, I'm sure that people people are allowed to mod games however they want. But you you can see people just like basically redid port. Look at this fucking anime kid here, like redid all the portraits, you know, to 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 make them look more uh, waifu esque, if you will. Good news, like, everyone. The, my definition the... for milfu is up for review by my peers. Right, this I'll be one of decision peers. will be made soon. So update next week. Um, okay. So here's a male character, Elliot, that has been made into a very large-breasted female. Um, we've got another male character made into uh, a female. Here's another male character made into an extremely large-breasted female. 
Um, same with all the male characters someone is made into. All ladies. You know, like get your harem game on. Um, but anyway, oh, here's a nude mod from what it looks like. Uh, so let's just get that. <laughs> Tastefully cropped, of course, on this. But uh, um, uh, I'll have to save that for um, when we're off air for me to look up the fully nude mod. Nice, <laughs> the rainbow. Um, uh, we'll, we'll save save that for people to to um, to look themselves. Yeah, wow. just Google it. There are there are extensive nude mods here. Or it's like <laughs> me, Bing it. Oh, would you like to look up the nude Buxom Haley Money Shot Edition? Because that exists. I'm going to type that in right now. Um. Anyway, let me go to oh, I love, private oh, window. Can I can I mention one of my favorite Twitter accounts to follow as well? Is just YouTube thumbnails. I think it's called, and it's just like how garbage YouTube thumbnails are, and just has like garbage YouTube thumbnails, and I love it. Like, cause YouTube thumb like nude mod and like huge texts and shit. Like, this is some fucking like asshole YouTuber basically. <laughs> the nude mod's not even like that good because the nude mod's like literally just like. The character portrait, but without clothing. But you don't really see anything. It's just cleavage. So I don't, I don't get it. I don't get what you're getting out of it. It's so funny. Like, Is it the people... typical spelling of, of Haley? H-L... H-A-L-E-Y. Okay, that's what I got. Um. Anyway. I don't know. Do we have any other podcasts to do? Because I'm just kind of looking. Oh, my God. Some of these mods. Anyway. It's life. Welcome to the internet. That's it. Matt, we're done. Put the music on. Yeah, please put the music on. Matt's, is Matt Matt's there? the fucking bathroom. <laughs> Fine, got it. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right, well, you can find me at John underscore danger. Um, oh, hey. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Hey, I was listening to you guys while I was paying. <laughs> Great. So, I, I still think that I'm close enough to that where it might as well have been me that recorded this. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's pretty close. I mean, for all that the internet lawyers know, it was you. I recorded True. this cover. I would like to mention that uh, there also is a uh, mod that sexes up Evelyn, the grandmother, in the game. Oh, good. So you can get your Gmail fun. Uh, 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 that's just Gilf. Just Gilf, oh, yeah. it's just Gilf. Sorry. I'm sorry. I'm not up with the lingo. You guys would know more. Are there any self mods? Lingo was a decently long running game show on the GS on the Game Show Network. It was like bingo with words. There's a lot of sex mods for games. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of them. Now it's, it's almost like, like there's a like Venn diagram mods. between like gamers and people that are sort of sexually frustrated. Yeah. No, you Turns don't even out. have to be frustrated to just huh. in- enjoy self love. Yeah, come on. That is true. I shouldn't. That. I and, and now uh, saying that, you know, you can find me on Twitter. That's at May of May eighty four. For the There's finest, lots of self love there. <laughs> anyway, I'm almost on Twitch every now and then, at May of May or Twitch TV slash May of May. Matt, where can we find you and your music? Uh, you can find me on Twitter at Randy R R Quaid. Uh, that's at Randy R R Quaid. <laughs> And I'll usually be ranting about the government there. Uh, you can find me everywhere else at Matt Hag Music, M A T T H A A G M U S I C. Born in the 80s.net's the website as well. I didn't say that. 
with the link to our Discord channel. Link Please join Discord it. Channel. Please join Please. it. Just, you can find my weird it. Twitter now. Just join it. What's keeping you? Join it. Yeah, what's keeping you? Who's who's? Wait, tell me. Someone keeping you from joining it? Somebody keeping you away you from our Discord. Me. Join our Discord. We'll help you out. Yes. We'll come for you. Yeah. Look to the east as the sun rises. <laughs> yes, that's right. But this music <laughs> will play, and we will arrive, and we'll save the day. All right, we gotta be. We gotta end. We're done. All right, bye, right. everyone. Bye. Got the right font now. I'm eating fruit snacks, baby, this evening. I'm eating fruit, fruit snacks, snacks, baby, baby tonight. Mmm. Girl, I want your fruit snacks. Nah, 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 nah. Girl, I want your fruit snacks just like how I want your body. Uh, mm. <laughs> God. YouTube? Yeah, we should be live. And by yeah, that, I, I mean the... we are definitely. YouTube. I got the Dude. notification. I noticed it. Bro, disification. Um, what was I gonna oh. do? Oh, 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 oh. And oh, 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 oh. I want your sexy. My sexy. What is going ba, on? Ba, right ba, now? Ba, 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 ba. All the games are gonna start coming out now, right? Because. Yeah, like, basically. Yeah. basically. Fire Emblem Warriors is tomorrow. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Ba -da -da -da. They're just singing. <laughs> Why don't you get your homework done? No, it's... Let's see, yeah. It's a... Uh... Fire Emblem Warriors tomorrow. Um, Tuesday is... There's some games coming on Tuesday, I think, right? Man, I don't think we're live. I, I don't. I don't have a link. Oh, there it went. Refreshing the page did nothing. Have you tried clearing your cache? It, it's working now. Turn it off and on um, again. Clearing your cache. All right, I'm done eating. Isn't that isn't that what capitalism does to me? Hey, -o. Hey, -o. All right. hey, -o. let me uh, get levels. So let me just. Oh man. All right, I'm 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 so, I'm, when I'm too loud it like peaks, but when I'm too quiet it doesn't. What the, how do I fix that? Like it's too quiet when I'm quiet, but when I'm loud it peaks. Did you try turning it off and on again? You need no. compression, but I don't think I this don't know has that. You can, yeah. Are you on studio? Yeah. It's fine. I, I'm not. Let me hit the you might like there like, might be microphone settings or something. I yeah, know. I'm gonna just see. All right, we sound pretty good. Sound pretty good, pretty good. All right, open up the dock, get your shit in there, guys. Come on. It's in there. I did it while oh, I was at God. work. I no, you yeah, didn't. You, yeah, I did. I, I was just in it like an I hour didn't. ago, and there was nothing in there. I put it in the old day. I put it in last uh, week's. So then you just copied it over like a fool. I tricked you into doing my grunt work for me. Well. Um, Either you I or TJ go did. go to my life again. Science Corner's got a thing. Science, bitch. Piss in the night away. I get knocked down. Oh, I gotta cross out the five faves we did last week. Oh, I did. One of them. But I didn't do the second one. Oh, no, but the second one wasn't on here, on this list. Coolio Binios. Um, what else am I doing? No. I hurt my... I have a real, I've had a headache for, like, three weeks. It's not good. Uh, you should get that checked out. Nah. 
not very it's a very light headache i think my neck could really be hurts, so I think it, related to I, neck or shoulder stuff so if you do that stretch, is I, exactly what happened it happened to me in college once where i had like a headache for a while and it was my neck and my neck is really tight so i had neck pain for like a year before i realized I, it was like my shoulder was screwed up and that was pulling my neck out of alignment maybe that's it well no matter what keep... i did for like neck exercises it wouldn't get better and then when i started attempting to lift weights mm-hmm. a few mo- weeks ago um then my shoulder hurt so i started doing shoulder stretches and that fixed my neck problem <laughs> all right um, let me find some news. What's going on in the world today? Uh, what? What is wrong? what the world needs now is drugs, sweet drugs. Hey, Matt. What? Pokemon Go, more like Pokemon Go to the polls. Ha, because like That's Hillary the thing Clinton that was said, right? That's probably the worst thing I've ever heard anyone say. That's including all the Donald Trump stuff. <laughs> Pokemon Go to the polls, dear God. Pokemon Go, fuck yourself. That was like the the most hello fellow kids thing any candidate has ever said. I play Pokemon Go. She didn't say Pokemon, day. right? She said Pokemon. I or play Pokemon Pokemon Go. Go. Pokemon Go. Pokemon Go. E3 got a new logo. Is it three E's? No. It's stupid. Hi, Steve, what are you yelling about? I can't pick him up. Oh, can we talk about the fucking Han Solo movie name? Yeah, I, I thought guess. Was, I thought that was basically set in stone a while ago, but everyone's talking about it. No, it wasn't yeah. set in stone. Cause like, different. what else would you name it? Four pounds. Four pounds. Two pounds wasn't bad enough. I'm preparing an audio clip. I'm preparing an audio clip. Just ignore okay. me. I'm finding news for the world today. Can I have a snooze news section, please? Is that okay? So you do have a plan. Yeah, Mr. White. Yes, science. Oh, I see what you're doing. Uh, I've watched the first season of that. I haven't that watched ago. anything yet. It's We're like doing a new section. It feels like starting a new thousand page novel. <laughs> I, I just I, don't I, want I to start. I have not read that it. article, yes, but Yes, science. I was hoping you would uh, say uh, bitch. What hand does he do? What, what hand does he do that with? His right hand? I don't know. I'm just camera. I don't have visual. <laughs> wrong with the world today do you know sony's making a nintendo game what yes science wah, wah, wah. the world is ending um, cats dogs living together uh, yes science sony has a publishing label sony music entertainment this pub- publishing label unties unties I'll, I'll talk about this in the podcast. Okay. I don't know. Okay. Welcome to Born in the Eighties, episode three hundred and eighty-eight wow. million. Three hundred eighty-eight million. What is it? Two eighty-eight. It, 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 is this to the point where we should just? Uh, no. Um. Is this the point where we're big enough where we now start getting a uh, McElroy Brothers as a uh, guest on our podcast? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I, what I'll do is I'll get a McElroy soundboard, and then we'll just fake like we're yeah. interviewing them. 
<laughs> it's, a, it's an o open table. Open. I got an open invite. Although, see, I was I was thinking about that in Come terms of down. guests to our podcast, and I was thinking about it. I'm like, would we interview them, or would they just be in our mishmash of what we do? Yeah, that's the problem. With yeah, that, like I guess, guests, you know? it would just be like hang out. I don't know. I think it would be like TJ afterwards was talking to me, John, about the like getting somebody like the Cool Games in Vancouver people on or something. Like, <laughs> I think it would just be like hanging out. I don't yeah. think it would be a formal I would interview. That too. I mean, I would prefer the hangout, and then they could chill with their, you know, <laughs> chill whatever, you know. Well, how about this? Dot gif. How about, how about that? This dot gif. How, how about how about that? <laughs> Dot gif. Is dot blogspot. How 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 about that dot gif dot box what? How about that? Hyphen angel uh, fire. Uh, dot gif. I'm just I just typed how about that dot gif. I, I just like how I jumped on our chat right to CSV to commerce separated values. Yeah, I don't know what that That's one was. That's pre Excel stuff. <laughs> it, it's it's yeah. CSV is dot is uh, basically Excel pre Excel. So it's basically just a word doc with no Oops. ending for the rows, and just each cell is separated by a comma. And then when you do a character turn, it starts the next row. Oh yeah, look yep. at that. How about that, that gif? <laughs> it's in our Discord. Cash me outside. How about that? Um. So. <laughs> uh, no, that'd be great. I'd love to do that. Um, but yep. we have to do it the correct way, the Born in the '80s style way. And yeah. do you guys know what that is? Plan oh, nothing. Oh, no, I know this. Oh, you quiz gotta bring back Quizbot. Quizbot. You gotta bring back Quizbot. Quizbot. <laughs> was it 5,000 or 3,000? I think I we should upgrade know. to 5,000, but it was definitely 3,000. Okay, it's Quizbot 4,000. <laughs> yeah, cause, yeah, because that Quizbot died like twice. Yeah, Quizbot 4,000. Uh, if you guys 4, want to, I don't know where we want to come up with Quizbot questions, but I want to do that again. Yeah. yeah, that'd be I'd... great. I'll get some beep boop sound effects. That'd yep. be great. And then we can do a short quiz bot to like entree the new people mm -hmm. and then just talk about stuff. Like, okay, what you've been up to? What here's some news stories. If they want to bring news stories, if they want to talk about, we'll put them in the docket. Talk about random crap then. Yep. Just with them on. Yeah. I don't want to probably way. do more than two guests, though, because five people's a lot. No, yeah. Yeah, I think two guests at most. Five people I mean, is, is a lot. A single we, guest it would be best. Because then we can... Because with two people, the quiz about questions will be tough. Because they'll be like... Be eating. True. But Actually, no, knowing them, their schedules are so different. Um, might be able to get one of them on at a time. That's true. That would work. Rad. Yeah. Cool. Let's do it. Zinc. TJ, make it happen. TJ, yeah, TJ you're our, I've you're our promoted you to Call vice president right in charge of booking. Right. I'm calling them. <laughs> yeah, just call them. Put them on speakerphone. Hey, you're on our <laughs> podcast. Surprise, motherfuckers. Just give me a sec. I'm calling them. I gotta get this on speaker. God dang it. I wish I had this gag figured out beforehand. <laughs> before we start talking. Are you just going to play an episode? I, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I wish we did good, this gag on the podcast. That was a good joke. <laughs> it's on the pod. Okay, we'll wait. All right. Welcome no, to no, Born no, in the 80s. Proper. I'm John Rowe. No, you're not. I've got a fucking and I'm fine, Hag. a goddamn stupid phone number that I'm going to call and put on speakerphone. I've ruined it. You just call I'm, me. I've ruined it. Is it Adam? On repeat. Are you calling Adam? Yes. Just call Adam and be like, Hey Adam, you're on the podcast. Why didn't you pick up Destiny? I got him online. What the hell is that? It's movie film. Now to get theaters downtown Monroe on the square at 11th Street. I still remember calling this. Thursday, Blade Runner. Blade Runner. Rated R. It's rated R. Rated R. No, I can't see that. Ending Thursday, it rated R. Thursday, 620. 
So this was before the internet existed. We, uh, you'd have to call the theater hotline and listen to what the movies were. And they'd be like, yeah. Mom, can we go see Jurassic Park for the eighth time? And you had to listen to a Thank list of all of phone. the movies. Yeah, you had to listen to every movie. But to be fair, the Getz Theater in Monroe had three screens. So it was not a lot to get through. Um, and so. back in my day when I wanted to know the weather, I had to call a phone number. Really? I would yeah. just, like, stick my hand outside. Okay, Grandpa. I'm the worst. But- All right, let's start the podcast. You ready? Ready?